It's interesting, I think I've reached a point in my career after having been in business for 40 years that people look to me for the secrets of leadership success. And I'm not a very good example because I, I don't think that I've had a gender barricade. In fact, if anything, I think during the, my 40 years I've actually had success because I was a woman. I think there, the fact that if you enjoy what you do, you work really hard, you work well with people, and you're a woman, I think it gave me a little bit of an edge. In every organization I've ever been in, I've been the senior woman. So. I, I have a hard time saying it was a problem. I actually think it was an opportunity. But I also think we're reaching a point in the industry today where there's a big difference between women rising in business and men. And I just gave a panel presentation. Recently, there are more women getting four-year degrees than there are men. I call them bachelorette degrees. And obviously having a college degree gives you a step up. So I think we're starting to cross a threshold where women are going to be succeeding in business in greater numbers than men. The Economist just had an article that talked about men being the weaker sex. They're not getting educated degrees. And the second thing I think that's really shifting for women and are going to create more women leadership roles, and I just saw this recently at a presentation I had, was men are now seeing their daughters enter into the job force, and they're going, my daughter's as smart as anybody else. I think she needs an opportunity. So in my sort of generation, when I was starting in the 70s, there were not a lot of men that were willing to sponsor women. I think they're, you're starting to see that now because those men have daughters that are entering the business field. So I think there's an evolution going to where you're gonna see more and more women into leadership roles. It's still, we're still on the sort of the cusp of it, but I, I see it increasing every day. I think a major thing is having, leading by example. And one of the great things about Steadfast is over half of the women that, the people that work at Steadfast are women. And the majority of those are in some kind of a management position. So I think they see a woman sort of running that company. And, and I, I hope to create sort of an example when I'm doing that. But I also give them practical advice that I've had sort of as I've moved through leadership roles. For example, if you're, if you're going to uh, take some time back when you have a child. A lot of times people will just leave the industry. They'll leave a job. And I, and I mentor women to tell them, I think you need to stay engaged. It's really hard to get back into a business after you've left. Sort of practical tips. I, I try and put them in programs where they are getting advanced degrees. And I, and I think, again, a lot of it's just kind of leading by example. One of my favorite phrases that I tell women is uh, a quote by Coco Chanel. And uh, Coco Chanel said that uh, you should keep your heels, your head, and your standards high. And I think that's sort of a motto I think that women live by. And I have two millennial women. I, my daughters are 29 and 26. And I give them a couple different advice. I, when they came to me when they got out of college, they said, what job should I go into where I'm going to make a good salary, a good living. And I said, sweetie, you need to pick a job that you enjoy because you're gonna be spending a lot of hours working. And if you pick a job that you enjoy, then you're gonna you have a higher probability of success because you're gonna be spending a lot of hours. I said, don't pick it just because of what it paid. So I think the important thing is finding a job that you like because if you like it, you're gonna work extra hard. And so I think that's an, an important uh, thing for a woman to consider. The second is, and I just was mentioning this in another presentation, and this is a little harder, but it, when you get to the point where you're ready to get married, you need to find the right husband because I think having that partner is the key to a successful career. And I was really fortunate. Uh, I've been with my husband for 35 years. And if I've had to move for a job or maybe a job opportunity that I was thinking, I'm not sure I'm quite qualified for that, Bob would go, yes, you are. So I think that, that, that having that team player there to have that great partner, um, that's a key to my success. And then the third thing is, I do have three kids, and one of the things that made me successful is because a lot of women can't travel because they don't have adequate childcare. I was really lucky to have this great woman that worked for us for 18 years, so it gave me the ability to travel on business and those kinds of things. And I think childcare, inadequate childcare, is one of the things I think is hardest for the woman because we still have taking care of the children is kind of our primary responsibility. And if you feel comfortable that your child's taken care of, then you're willing to take on those business trips. You're willing to move. And I think, so I think it's sort of all that together that is a key to success. And working, as I said, working really, really hard.